This plane, the Flying Bicycle, as it is affectionately called, is the baby of some of Southampton University students. In 1961, Derek Piggott made the first authenticated man-powered flight. This demonstration was filmed at Lasham Airfield in Hampshire a few weeks later. The flying bicycle lurches into the air. Only a few feet up, but they mean the top of the world. Half a century later, and the enthusiasm is still sky high, as today's pedal-powered aircraft arrive at the same airfield for what's now become an annual competition. This year, Team Aerocycle are based on one side of the airfield and Team Air Glow are on the other. They're competing for a team prize of £1,000, but each team has several pilots and they're all competing against each other for the pilot's prize, the Icarus Cup. The cup's in there with my name from the last two years on it. I'm trying to defend it, but uh, this young man's romping ahead at the moment. I don't have any pilot's licences. I'm, I'm an engineer, it's my day job. More and more we're doing flight simulator training down in Southampton Solent. But apart from that, be keen, be relatively fit um, and be confident, yeah. The teams have been here for a week, completing flight tasks and scoring points. But they can only fly in the right conditions. They need cool, still air. So they either fly at first light or just before sunset. But there are just 24 hours left and the weather forecast isn't good. This could be their last evening of flying and Niall wants those points. I'm trying to fly one kilometre down the runway but once I pass the uh, yellow flags I'm going to be trying to do a slalom so every time I cross the centre line of the runway it gets counted as uh, gets added up as points. Niall is ready to fly but they have to wait for the marshals. It's getting dark and Aerocycle's designer, John Edgeley, is watching closely. This aircraft weighs below 40 kilos. The pilot weighs more than the plane. You have to be yeah, fit. But the key really is the combination of the pedalling and the flying the aeroplane. Finally, they're cleared to fly. The flight starts well, but conditions are not good. Niall has to land without completing the task. On the other side of the airfield, Team Airglow is also making a big effort. Pilot John Boyce manages to fly the whole length of the runway. But it's too dark now, and this is the last flight of the day. At four o'clock in the morning, they're back. Welcome to the Hotel Duvan. We're going to wake everybody up. It's not just the flying that's difficult, it's all the organisation getting the weather, the airfield and the people together. Airglow are hoping to fly at first light, but by the time they've rigged, it started to rain. What's more, Aerocycle have beaten them onto the airfield and taken off from grass. That will have scored some points. Are we ready? Airglow's wet wings won't produce as much lift, so pilot Rubin will have to pedal harder. Ready? And the extra effort pays off because Rubin does get the plane into the air, but it's not the flight they were hoping for. You can't beat rain on the wings, it upsets the airfoil and the airplane doesn't fly. Um, you know, when we're running on such low margins of power and wind, uh, you know, wind limits and so on, one, one more factor like that and we've had to wrap it up for the day. But good things come to those who wait. By the evening, the weather has cleared and Aerocycle pilot Kit Buchanan seems to have saved the best till last. He goes straight into the 500 metre slalom and starts picking up points. Then he flies around the three sides of a measured triangle. That's never been done in the UK before. When he lands, Kit's flight duration is 6 minutes and 17 seconds. It's the longest flight they've ever made. At the end of a long week, Team Aerocycle wins the competition and Kit Buchanan takes the 2019 Icarus Cup. Yeah!